The next one is um, study the table below and answer the questions that follow. This one here is a balance of payment and uh, that's a systematic record of a country's transactions with the rest of the world. As you can see here, they made life easy for you. They put this less, 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 which will make it very easy. So normally we'll take merchandise exports. We add net gold export, add service receipts, add income receipts, add merchandise imports, subtract payment for service, subtract income payment, subtract, and then current transfer. This one is mostly a net figure. So we do what it says. In this case, it's a negative, so we'll just subtract. All right, so this is how we'll get to this figure here. But why do we add merchandise exports? Because if we export, these are all the goods that we export. If we export, money comes in. So we're talking about the flow of money here. Money comes in, so we add. And um, sorry, I pressed that by mistake. Which institution provides the statistics above? That's South African reserve bank you look here but let me finish what i was saying here net gold exports goods are going out so gold is going out so we add money is coming in service receipts we rent a service to foreigners and they pay so we get the money income receipts uh it's a uh, payment coming to south africa uh for anything let's say labor Merchandise imports, we're buying things from other countries, so we subtract. Payment for service, they render service to us, so we pay for it. Income payments, yes, uh, we're paying for labor to foreign internationals, so we subtract. Then current transfers, this mostly is like, uh, you know, let's say donations and gifts. So it depends on who, you know, sent what more. Uh, if if I send if I have a brother in Australia and I send him money, money f goes to Australia. But do you see that that money is not going to Australia so that something comes into South Africa? It's a gift. It's gone, and nothing is coming back the the opposite direction. So this one is that will be different from merchandise imports because I'm not importing something. I'm not buying anything. I'm giving my brother a gift. Right, I think you have an idea. Which item records transactions relating? Oh my goodness, I just finished talking about it. That will be current transfers. Briefly describe the capital transfer account of the... Okay, it's not here, but also it's a net figure, always. Right, it is a net amount that includes transactions and grants relating to ownership of fixed assets, debt forgiveness, and the value of households and personal effects and financial claims and liabilities of migrants so it's a net figure so in terms of calculating it's something you don't really need to worry about because you never be asked to balance it but you can be asked to balance this particular account which is called the current account Right. Give one reason for the decline in gold exports. Less reliance. Okay, this one will be, you know, just trying to figure out what could be the reason. Less reliance on gold as a value stabilizing commodity. Could be. Worldwide, uh, worldwide recession led to low demand for gold. Uh, closing down of gold shafts led to downscaling of gold production so anything that makes sense calculate the trade balance okay trade balance we only talk about items like okay this this and this only these three so we add these two we subtract that simple so trade balance will be merchandise exports plus net gold exports minus merchandise imports you see so like i say these three are the only ones so you take and then you have to watch out for the year if you are not careful you're doing the right thing in terms of you know you know which ones to add and which ones to subtract but you are not using the correct year so be very careful always check which year are they asking it's 2015 so you use 9 67 
and uh, 1 million okay and also remember this is in million rands so at the end of every figure there you put m so this is actually million billion trillion this is 1 trillion rands this is uh 67 billion yes this will be 900 billion almost a trillion right okay so in front of everything here put an m m m right. don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel also hit the notification bell for you to get notified every time we post new content to our channel we are also giving away the distinction bound student t-shirts to people who buy more than 10 books at the moment we have the following textbooks economics grade 10 11 and 12 plus business studies grades 11 and 12. we are looking forward to adding more books to our catalog remember our books come in two versions complete and no answers versions complete versions have answers and no answers versions do not thank you so much for your support see you in the next video god bless Thank <laughs> you.